It all started with the world's greatest scientist, Albert Einstein. He discovered theories that not only changed people's thinking, but also changed the entire world. Two of the theories, the special and the general theory of relativity, led to the invention of the atomic bomb and the theory of black holes, and the Big Bang. But he didn't stop there. He created a third theory, which he called the unified field theory. To understand this, let's take a look at two of the most successful theories in physics. The first theory, general relativity, which is the theory of the macrocosmic world, or in other words, the big world, the world of galaxies and black holes. The second theory, quantum theory, which is the theory of the microcosmic, describes very small things. So what's wrong with these two theories? Well, actually, there's nothing wrong with them, if they work separately. But when combined, they completely oppose each other. And physicists can't just keep on using them. It is because that there are some cases in which both theories apply, such as in a black hole. The size of a black hole is small in terms of length, but the size is large in terms of mass. So we need both theories. So what's the solution? Well, we need a theory of everything. And Einstein started on this with his unified model. Scientists found the standard model after decades of hard work. It is highly successful in providing experimental predictions. Electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces have been explained by this model. But there's still a problem. Gravity does not fit into the equation. And now, the world's leading scientists think that they have found a theory of everything. This theory, which has caused so much excitement, is called the string theory. To understand the string theory, let's take a quick look at the four forces which control everything in our universe, which the string theory unites. So, before modern science, the ancient Greeks thought that the universe is made of four elements, air, water, earth and fire. But today, we know that our universe is made up of atoms and subatomic particles, held together by only four forces. So the first force is gravity, which is the force that keeps our feet on the ground and holds the solar systems and galaxies together. The next force, electromagnetism, is the force that generates our electricity, among other things. The third force, the strong nuclear force, is the force that creates our sun. The last force, the weak nuclear force, is the force of radioactive decay. Now, you may have figured out that the first force, gravity, is described by general relativity, while the other three forces, electromagnetism, strong nuclear and weak nuclear forces, are described by quantum theory. These forces are so important, but yet so contradictory. And now, string theory unites them. The smallest particles, we now think, have something else in them. Dancing strands of energy that look like vibrating strings. These are just like strings on a guitar, which can vibrate in different ways. But instead of making notes, they make different particles around us. The size of these strings are about 10 to the negative 33 centimetres long, and that might be a bit hard to visualise. So, now let's say if we made an atom the size of the solar system, a string will be about the size of a tree. String theory is the first theory of physics that tries to explain everything. If this theory is true, everything and every force is the result of vibrations of strings. We know that we are living in the universe of space-time, that is, four dimensions, with the space with length, depth, height, and also time. Each dimension is orthogonal to one another. But also, strings vibrate in more than the four-dimensional space-time. String theory allows for 11 dimensions, as well as multiple other universes. The other seven dimensions are tightly curled up. We may never be able to see these dimensions, unlike the four-dimension or space-time, because it might be that they are very, very small. Having said that, it might also be that we are somehow confined to space-time, or it might be that the extra dimensions are not there. String theory can also explain why gravity is weaker than electromagnetism. Try holding an electromagnet above a piece of metal. The metal will fly upwards towards the electromagnet. Physicists think that gravity is caused by particles called gravitons. These gravitons are made up of close-ended strings that form a circle. Gravitons may not be restricted to our dimensions, but may be able to float into other dimensions, unlike other particles that are formed by open strings. These other particles are anchored to their dimensions. And there you have it, a theory of everything. A theory that unifies quarks, electrons, forces, gravitons, photons, among other things. So matter and the forces are made of vibrating strings. But there's still a lot to do before the theory is complete. Perhaps you may be the one to complete the theory of everything. <laughs>